Hello everybody, we're going to be doing some Zoom training and we're going to be doing tips and tricks of Zoom. So let's begin. When you first enter your meeting, the first thing that we'd like to do is to make sure that our microphone is off. And to find that very quickly, you just hover over your microphone, click, and unclick. So when you come in the meeting, automatically it is muted. If you want to speak, you're just going to have to click it and then after you speak, immediately go back and mute. So these are the tools. Let's say you get in the meeting and for some reason you can't hear the teacher or the teacher can't hear you and you're unmuted. So what you should do is you should come over here and you're going to click the arrows up. You have it. You look in your view more tools and look for the microphone and the camera and you're going to click here and you're going to do test speaker and microphone. Okay, I can hear that through the speaker and then when I talk, it's going to Okay, be... I can hear that through the speaker and then when I talk, I can hear myself as well. So then we've done that test. The next thing that we're going to be looking at is the video. Now in video, everyone has been asking so much about the backgrounds and stuff. Let's do a little bit of training on the backgrounds. So first things we're going to do is we can click the arrow up and we're going to go into here, adjusting background and effects, because that'll put the whole toolbar in front of us. As you can see, everything is here. If you have problems with your video, the lighting or something is too low, then you can click here for the lighting. And if you have to do it manually, you can turn it all the way up or you can turn it all the way down. This will change how, how much lighting you see. But for me, I like to adjust to, to low lighting. Like here, uh, here, let me show you. I like to adjust for low lighting to make sure. Then I just let it do by, uh, let it continue at audio. Audio, that's a good one. Let it continue auto. Now, another thing is we've seen people that have been playing with the cameras sometimes and they can go upside down. We won't mention any names, but you know who you are. Please don't do that in class. That's really, it gets me dizzy and everybody else maybe around us. So we're going to be looking at video backgrounds. And what we're going to do is because our meetings are a little bit bigger, we will not be having moving backgrounds in the class because when you do the moving backgrounds, it just takes too much memory and bandwidth and it'll make our meeting much slower. So we're going to only be using picture backgrounds. So for our virtual backgrounds, you automatically come with some, as long as you've updated your app, you'll see one, two, three, four automatically. You have none and you have blur. So let's say you don't want everybody to see what's behind you. You can easily just say blur. And just remember when you are in blur mode, we may want to share work. And if you're in blur mode, I can't see your work. There is a secret though. You can put it in front of you and then we can see your work. So that's the blur, the blur mode. Now, if you're going to add, we're going to add, let's say we want to add an image. So we add image and we can pick from our own images to have a nice background. And I have a couple already. And this was the image that I used today. And everyone was asking, how did I create that background? This is just my images. So it's, it's really cute and I can change them. And my number one go-to is this one because it has class, class rules. Now we're going to look at something else besides the video. I'm sorry, the virtual backgrounds. Let's move into avatars. Now avatars can be fun. And if you're storytelling or if you find an avatar that you like, it can be a lot of fun. So let's click on avatars. Avatars, I've already made some. There's a preset one, but then I think it's this guy right here. He's avatar one, but then you can make your own avatars. And three, two, one. I am a young woman with a ponytail and long hair. I designed her. Uh, this is the older avatars. If you look at the older avatars and you look at our eyes, they are quite scary because they are just black pupils. They have updated that since then. And the new avatars you can see are, sorry, let me move down here, blue eyes. You can see I have blue eyes where before I didn't have blue eyes. So. To make your avatar, you can go through that on your own. There's just creating and then you just have a builder. 
it just shows you from skin color face color eyelashes eyebrows eye color and now we even have clothing glasses head club and clothing so there's many things you can do you can add sunglasses to your avatar or regular glasses so you can just go through all that but that's something that you can do on your own and then once you decide that's the avatar that you like you hit apply and then that becomes your new avatar so I'm gonna exit without saving because I don't want to save that avatar but you can play with that one on your own now let's look at some video filters video filters are a lot of fun too and if we look here we have our video filters oh I've got to undo my avatar they're not available right now da, 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 da. get out of my avatar okay now we're gonna go over to our video filters now if you see behind us we just did the background in zoom just so you know there's the, there's three layers there is the background there is the middle and then we have the video filter for the foreground or the front and what that is is that these will come over your image before that one we have color schemes so we have my set my color scheme but then I can change it to different ones I can become black and white I can become cream I so you can just go through those and, and play with them and see which ones you like but I prefer none um, then we have the happy face you can decorate the outside and around then we have face filters where you can add a little bit of color at, of course for the holiday we have the Christmas lights you can only use one filter at a time they also have face masks yes that can be a lot of fun you can be animals but it can't see you talking and this is good when we're doing stories maybe we have a story about aliens and you want to be an alien then after that you're going to go through and you're going to see this is called studio effects now studio effects what that does is it kind of gives it's for women that don't want to wear makeup uh, maybe there's a guy and he wants to alter his looks just a little but not too much so as you can see I'm very blonde I do not have any eyebrows but I can automatically add some eyebrows if I click oh I have pink because I wanted that color but if you don't want that color of course they have regular color eyebrows and I can decide how dark or how light I want them to show. If you want a new color, hit select your color, pick a color, and then hit OK. And then they change. So we have blue eyebrows. Ooh. Now let's see. I really need a beard and mustache. I've never had one, but let's do it. I like this one. This is called the pencil, and I have it in green again you can play with the colors have some fun doesn't have to all be the same color and then turn it on and then during the meeting this is what I'm going to look like uh, I can also just go from traditional colors to oh I haven't shaved in a while to oh it's just coming in okay so you go up and down you get the hopefully you understand then we have the lip color I need a lipstick maybe I have this one maybe I have red and here I can choose how thick I want it. Well, maybe I want black lips. Yeah, let's do some black. And then here I hit OK. And then I'll just turn it up all the way. Mwah, nice black lips. Or I can go for red lips. Now, what I do in the meeting is sometimes I like just a little bit of lipstick, not too much. So I'll just add a, a regular color, put it down a little bit. And then, of course, all the others I'm going to put none and let's go to the top one I like my own eyebrows thank you don't need to have any fake ones and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna apply to all future meetings that I'm gonna have just a little bit of lipstick not a lot so that's just gonna do this for all meetings I don't have to redo it uh, the same thing is if you choose your own um, meeting or the screen and then now we saw somebody today they had the virtual background was on their face and that happens when you hit I have a green screen maybe you don't have a green screen and sometimes it's going to come on your face because look it's not right I don't have a green screen so I don't recommend using that so 
don't play with that one because most of the computers nowadays or iPads will pick up the background just fine. So we've gone through now the video. If you need any minor adjustments for light, we've gone through virtual backgrounds, the images. Uh, then we have gone through avatars, which is something you can create on your own. Then we have our video filters, which is the foreground. So we have the background, we are in the middle, and the foreground. And then we have our studio effects, which layers some fun stuff on our face.